Kristen, thank you. After a nearly 20-year hiatus, the King Cotton Classic is returning to Pine Bluff, the Pine Bluff Convention Center. Top high school teams from across the nation are now in town. Officials welcoming the team to Arkansas before taking them to the convention center for orientation. The players also took part in community service projects. A highly anticipated skills competition is tonight. The arena in Pine Bluff undergoing some last minute preparations. New tonight at 530, Chanley Painter tells us what motivated officials to revive this once nationally recognized high school tournament. Chanley, this is a huge deal for that community. It is. Good evening, Stephanie. The group Go Forward Pine Bluff hopes investments into the tournament will help springboard the entire town into a much needed economic boost. According to the tournament director, sponsors invested more than $600,000 into the arena for improvements at the Pine Bluff convention center. Just for this event, it, they got a brand new floor, new video scoreboards, remodeled concession stands, restrooms, and locker rooms. The King Cotton is the best example of what can happen when a community comes together and on the same accord, working together for one common uh, cause, springboard from what is happening here in Pine Bluff as we move forward into the next uh, phase of the uh, restoration and renovation of, of Pine Bluff. The tournament features eight teams, double elimination style. Two of the eight teams are from Arkansas, of course, Pine Bluff and also Jacksonville High School. Tickets begin at just $8. They're available online and at the door. The games will be streamed live on Facebook if you can't actually attend, but it all starts tomorrow, Stephanie, at 4.30. Chanley, thanks so much. The King Cotton Classic started in the early 80s at the Pine Bluff Convention Center. At one time, it was considered arguably the best high school basketball tournament in the country. ESPN actually made the tournament the first high school level basketball game to be televised nationally in 1987. Alumni include Duke's Bobby Hurley, NBA Hall of Famer Jason Kidd, and Heisman Trophy win winner Desmond Howard.